Hi, I'm Andre Robertson, and you're watching Thunder Insider. And welcome back to Thunder Insider in our final show before the All-Star break. Well, when the team returns afterwards, they'll only have less than two months in the regular season, just 27 games to go before the playoffs. That is hard to believe. So it's time to welcome in Matt Pinto, who joins Grant Long from the road as we start to look ahead to the second half of the season. Now, guys, the Thunder will get to enjoy this break, hopefully come back with some new energy. But they go in as the best team in the West because they have definitely gained momentum heading into this break. What kind of positioning does that give them going forward, and, and how is this an advantage? Well, Leslie, they've never felt as if the outside world was going to impact their view of themselves or how they approach things. But I think the thing that's happened is that they've learned how versatile they are and grant the level of trust and belief has grown as the season has gone on because of some adversity that's been placed in front of them, specifically with the Russell Westbrook injury. So I think you can't contrive what this team's had to deal with and go through, but they've excelled. And I think that really sets them out beautifully for the post All-Star break period. Uh, well, I think they've completely bought into the fact that whatever's going on on the outside of the, the of the team, whatever they can't control, they are not concerning themselves with. And I think that has served this team very well throughout this season. And I think that's why they're having the success that they're having. But you, when you have that mentality, it's all about, hey, we're, we're controlling our own destiny. It's not uh, what, what somebody else is doing. It's what we can do. And you hear the, the players and the coaches even talk about it. We're not practicing on what our opponent is doing. We're trying to get better at what we do. And I think if they, if they can continue down that road, they're going to continue to be successful. Yeah, this is definitely a good spot to be in. And as we start to break down players who will have the most impact on this team in the second half, of course, hard to look past the fact that Russell Westbrook will hopefully return at some point soon after the break. But when you look at some of the other players and who has grown, who do you think will have the biggest mark on this team down the stretch? Well, I think that in Westbrook's return, you look at Reggie Jackson anchoring that bench unit as the driving force there. Jeremy Lamb certainly has grown in confidence as the season has gone on. So those two in tandem at the backcourt spots, very dynamic and difficult to deal with, I would suspect. Derek Fisher then plays more off the ball, shooting threes, which he's excelling at over the last month or so. And Grant, this team just becomes more solid top to bottom. I think when everybody gets back to their original position, I think the bench will play a huge part in the success as they move forward in the season, simply because they're one of the most powerful and productive benches that the league is offering right now. And I think when you have Jackson at the helm, you've got a, a given shooter in Jeremy Lamb. And, and you mentioned Derek Fisher and what he's been able to do from the three-point line. And defensively, I think everybody is sound. This is going to be one really huge key, though, Leslie, the fact that everybody's healthy. You know, Russell's coming back, but this team is healthy. They've not really had an opportunity to experience a injury bug that's plagued them throughout a season. Russell Westbrook is the biggest injury that they've had to deal with, and I know that's a huge one, but for the most part, this team has been healthy and moving forward, and I think that's what this team has to look forward to, and you want to be healthy going into the second half of the season. Have you guys, I don't want to say pleasantly surprised, but been impressed with the way that they've dealt the challenges and some of the blows that have come their way and the way they've been able to play through them this, this season so far? Yeah, I think we've seen growth in a lot of different guys exponentially in a quantum sense. And I really look at Kevin Durant's growth as a leader, and I think that's been enormously impactful in stimulating the younger guys on this team in a really positive direction because, Grant, he's empowering, he's encouraging, he's making guys around him visibly better. Yeah, and I, I got to say, Leslie, that I'm not surprised at how this team has continued to move forward simply because I'll go back to my initial point. It's beyond their control. Injuries are things that you can't control. You can't just stop the bus from rolling because the player gets injured. You have to be ready to step up. Yeah, I think you're definitely right. The Thunder has definitely rolled right through this and taken it in stride. Well, thanks, guys. Enjoy your week off. We'll see you back after the break. All right. All right. Well, now for several years, the Thunder has been one of the best at developing those players like we talked about and giving them the most experience possible many times through that affiliate, the Tulsa 66ers. It's helped shape the game of several players, including Reggie Jackson and Jeremy Lamb, who have later made an impact here in Oklahoma City. And of course, currently, Andre Robertson has spent a lot of time in Tulsa working on his game, getting the most of his minutes in the development league. So here's more on the importance of that relationship between these two teams. I think it's been great, you know, uh, getting a chance to develop uh, and, get, and get more comfortable with myself. And uh, I'm just seeing it as an opportunity to get better day by day and uh, you know, one day help this organization out. We had a chance to see Andre a lot, and uh, he's been doing a great job, uh, especially defensively. Uh, we're trying to put Andre on the best uh, players on the other team to stop them. Uh, one through four, he can defend the all positions. Uh, great rebounder, offensive and defensive. Nice rebound underneath by Robertson. Boy, 
Is he athletic? He's been improving all segments of his game, and uh, we were very satisfied uh, with his progress. Uh, just being aggressive and confident in, uh, rota in my rotations and our coverages. So uh, you know, that's, that's first and foremost. Uh, and you know, second is what I've been working on with my coaches. You know, just developing my uh, offensive game, being more comfortable on the perimeter, and uh, you know. Learning the system. My whole coaching staff and uh, everybody in Tulsa were following uh, OKC every single game, and we were very proud of their progress and uh, how they played uh, play on NBA scene. Andre Robertson making his third NBA start, and he ties up Kobe Bryant. It's great. It's very rewarding. I just talked to, to Jeremy a couple of days ago uh, about our experience last year, and we had a lot of fun. So uh, he's been doing a great job. Jeremy. I was down there last year. Uh, Reggie came out for one game. He had like 30. So uh, I thought that was really impressive, you know, on a few shots. And, uh, you know, I think that's helped everybody a lot, just getting ready for uh, for big time minutes. You know, you never know when your name's going to call, you know, how long you're going to play. So uh, just getting us ready for big time minutes and uh, giving us some game time experience. Just getting an opportunity to play, you know. Guys we send down there really don't, you know, get a lot of minutes here for us. Um, you know, they're young guys, but it's helped Jeremy, it's helped Perry. So Reggie, Andre's done a great job down there. And, you know, they came up here and started for us, and we won every game we started in. So, just that experience of playing and knowing our system better down there is helping them out. Ahead on Thunder Insider. I, it was truly amazing to see our Special Olympic athletes alongside these world-class athletes, and just to see their faces brighten up as soon as they, they walked in the room. It, it means a lot to them.